birds are singing, the grass is greening up, sunshine spills on far off hills. God showers blessings upon us through his infinite wisdom and love. His gifts are like bountiful raindrops coming down from our Father above. Let us now listen as we join together in prayer, our school's prayer. Father, you created me in your image and likeness. I have come from you and I am ordained to you. Watch over me, inspire me to choose good and to avoid evil. Allow me the sensitivity to see the needs of my neighbor and the strength to respond gently. Give me the courage to follow the truth and the grace to know you, love you and serve you. Amen. Thank you so much, Jemaya, for leading us in prayer. And I trust that everyone joined in saying together our school's prayer. And as you prayed the school's prayer, you digested every single line of our prayer, which speaks to our attitude towards ourselves as God's creation, our attitude towards others, being respectful and sensitive to other persons, and remembering that everything we do and see, we must always think of God foremost. Thank you, Jemaya. Now, students, yesterday, 21st June, was the first day of the summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Summer begins or happens on the 20th or the 21st or the 22nd June, depending on the time zone that you live in. When the summer begins, which marks the first day when the Earth's axis points directly towards the sun, giving us more daylight and more warmth as its rays are more directly impacted on the northern hemisphere. What we find is that everything seems to be growing faster, such as plants. So people take advantage of planting flowers, vegetables, and other items. Everything is moving faster. Everything seems to be more active, such as animals, which of course includes us human beings. So you find that there are more sporting activities, more outdoor activities. And so this morning, I would like you to welcome the summer and start to think of the exciting ways you'd like to spend your summer and how you'd like to benefit from this. Today's assembly is to allow us to just wrap up with the TVET areas at our school and I would like to point to some of the practical areas that some of our Form 1 and Form 2 students spend some time during the first and second term. And some of our upper school students also, I would like to highlight some of the activities or some of the work that our students engage in. Additionally, since we have already seen that physical education and sport falls under TVET. I will also try to include the sporting activities that, that are part of our school life at CCSS. So just sit back and enjoy this slideshow which attempts to highlight some of the TVET areas 
specifically the practical areas in technical and vocational, and of course, some of our sporting activities, which also fall under TVET. Thank you very much. And thank you for, to the students and teachers for participating in this activity. assisted especially our form tools in making informed decisions about their career choices and subject options for forms three four and five very important to note all jobs all careers all occupations require education and training and students are certainly able to speak to the wide range of education and training offered at the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. The three departments featured over the past few weeks were the vocational, technical and business subject areas. We do have five other departments the English department, the Mathematics department, the Natural Sciences department, the Social Sciences department, and the Modern Languages department. All of the eight departments complement each other. 
the five departments mentioned lastly are specific areas which assist students in making important career decisions and certainly complement all of the TVET areas at CCSS. So students, please watch these videos, these slideshows presented for the past, over the past few weeks. And I urge the Form 2 students to continue watching these as the subject areas taught in the technical department have been featured and can assist you in making even more informed decisions about your subject choices. Thank you very much. We've come to the end of today's assembly, which I promise to keep very short and get, get ready for a very interesting week, students. And of course, as you get ready for the interesting week I mentioned, I would like you to remember, of course, that you need Form 2 to submit all your subject selection forms. We still have a few students who have not yet done so, and this is very, very important to have done so. So we ask that all Form 2 students submit their subject selection forms. Last week's spelling quiz was won by Kema Lesmore. And I do hope that you have read through the email and can now congratulate her again for being the student who has won the most so far. We still have one more spelling quiz next week and we hope that next week we'll decide who has won this term spelling quiz. Students, I urge you to wrap up all your courses, activities, quizzes, projects, whatever. All assignments, all activities given to you by your subject teachers, you need to be able to submit this by the end of this week. Let me inform you too that although you won't be getting a report which speaks to the assignments that you have done showing you quantity of grades, you will be receiving a report which speaks to the quality of engagement that you have been undertaking. So your report will be what is referred to as a qualitative report. And this, of course, is extremely important as it speaks to how you interacted, how you submitted your assignments, if you did, and how well you did. And at the end of this term, you will, of course, be able to assess how well-rounded you were as a student in this term, how responsible you were, and how much pride you took in your work. As we know, this term was a very different term. We still have persons who have not accessed the model. Not many. We could actually count those very, very quickly. And unfortunately, we do have some students who were just not interested and did absolutely nothing. It is unfortunate. Some schools have seen it very difficult to interact with their students. And so this, of course, forces some schools to repeat a number of concepts in the next new term. Our term ends on July 3rd, and we hope to give every student the qualitative report on that day. So stay connected, communicate any concerns, and remain blessed throughout today, Monday, and throughout the course of this week. As we close, I'd like you to continue reaching out to all the teachers, staff members who are fathers. This, of course, this week, we highlight the achievement of fathers in our lives. 
and what we did last week was we gave a little treat to all the fathers who were on site all our fathers who were on site were able to be treated with a sumptuous meal of breakfast on wednesday and on friday we had lunch for all our ancillary staff and the teachers who were on compound so thank you everybody we've come to the end of our assembly please stay tuned for the singing of our schools and them principal miss daniel just share for the day mm -hmm.